Where'd you want to go? So, if you were not in class yesterday, you should probably watch that screencast ASAP. I should probably watch it. Okay? So, yeah, a second. So we talked yesterday about logistic functions. And today we're going to continue talking about logistic functions. So the two sheets that you have, I don't want to see them anymore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Keep me on our own, man. So a logistic function has a fraction, and the numerator of that fraction is the limit to growth. We call it C. Okay? It's the biggest that our function can get. Logistic function, remember, grows exponentially and then says, whoa, tap breaks, and blah, blah, blah. Okay? Okay? So that's what a logistic function is. Okay? And that, <coughs> excuse me, and that C, that C value, we call that the limit to growth. Then the not the, the the there's doing like four different ways to say denominator there. The denominator, I almost said numerator, and then I almost said numerator denom, and then I was you know, I'm telling you right now. Okay. <laughs> so the denominator, that's where our exponential function lies, because then that exponential function is going to grow and grow and grow and grow. Actually, excuse me, it's going to decay and decay and decay and decay and decay, which is going to push us. Right up to that limit. Okay. Now, if the roles are reversed, if we have a logistical decay function, then that exponential function on the bottom, on the denominator, that's a growth, exponential growth. Okay. So we talked all about that yesterday. Fantastic. Okay. Here is a great warm up for you from yesterday. So. I want you to find me a logistic function. We'll go in the form uh, f of x equals c over 1 plus a b to the x power with an initial value of 10, a limit to growth of 80, and it goes through the point 5, comma 60. Good stuff. Now that we got through our serial discussion, all right, here we go. So initial value of 10, that tells me that that's going to go through the point 0, comma, 10. That's what that says for me, okay? So my limit to growth, that's 80. So I'm going to have f of x here, and I can kind of combine those first two, is going to equal 80 is my limit to growth. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, instead of going f of x here, I'm going to say, no, 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 10 equals 80 over 1 plus a, b to the 0 power. b to the 0 power is 1, okay? So then that gives me here 10 times 1 plus a equals 80, okay? because the b to the 0 power is 1, then that's just a, so that's just 1 plus a, multiply both sides by 1 plus a, we get there. Divide both sides by 10, one plus a is 8, subtract 1, a is 7. You need those two sheets over there. Okay. Yes, those two. Okay? With me? A, 7. Love it. Then I'm going to say, well, now 60 is going to equal 80. Oops, that's the wrong color. 80 
over 1 plus a times, oops, that breaks. We know what a is. What am I saying what that is? Oh, it's just silly, Lindsmeyer. 7 times b to the fifth power. With me? Multiply both sides by 1 plus 7b to the fifth power. And that's going to give me 60 times 1 plus 7b to the fifth power is equal to 80. Divide both sides by 60. That's going to give me, scroll, that's going to give me 1 plus b, or 1 plus 7b to the fifth power equals 4 thirds. Okay, then I'm going to subtract 1, but really I'm going to subtract 1 on this side and 3 thirds on this side. So that's going to be 7b to the fifth. Is going to be one third. Then I'm going to divide by seven on this side, which is really multiplying by one seventh on that side. So then that's going to give me b to the fifth is equal to one twenty first. Fifth rooted, not just square rooted, yeah. fifth rooted. And that's going to give me B equals, if I wanted to stay exact, the fifth root of 121st, but who uses a scratch pad? Good Lord. Documents are much, you can do so much more in documents because you can put stuff right into it in a document. I just calculated stuff. Yeah, but later on, we, you'll, you'll be able to, like, when we put this logistic function in, we can put this logistic function in, get its graph, and then I can say f of 15, and I can know exactly what it is at 15 without having to do any math. Yeah, documents, much better. All right, so f of x is going to equal 80 over 1 plus 7 times 0 0.5439 to the x power. Hmm? Or like that, to the x power. Or 80 over 1 plus 7 times the fifth root of 120 or 121st to the x. Love it. Good times. All right. So what I would like us to do now is now I want us to graph and find the y-intercept and the horizontal asymptotes of this logistic function. Okay. Well, that's not that hard to do. So let's start with our Haas. Okay? That's what I call a horizontal asymptote. Ha. Okay? Uh, 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 how many Haas are there? Oh, uh, Two, right? So it's ha ha, right? So give me one ha of the ha ha pair. How can you go? Y equals a bit, this is a new function. Y equals eight. I love it. Is that upper or is that lower? That is the upper one. Yeah. So. What? Because that's our limit to growth, right? So that's the other one. What's the other hot? It's not one because one's just a number. Y equals zero would be the other one because it can't be negative. Our function can't be negative. Is 
that's always the lower one, yep. Unless there would be something else like after this, plus or minus, then that would shift it up the top. Love it. Okay. How, how do I figure out the y-intercept? Exactly. In any function, you will find the y-intercept by plugging 0 in for x. Okay? So 0.7 to the 0 power is 1, right? 1 times 3 is 3 plus 1 is 4. 8 divided by 4, 2. So my y-intercept is at 0, comma, 2. So my logistic function is going to come through here, come up, level up. Eight, oops, come on now. Oh no. Eight over one plus three times point seven raised to the x power. Oops, that, that didn't raise it for me. Raised to the x power. Enter. Okay. Now let's back it out a little bit. like that, doesn't it? You now try that. Wait, it's the Oops, I missed. We can park it on like the back. No, 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 that's not where it's on the park in the middle. Right. I missed. That was bad on both accounts. There we go. All right, upper. Y equals 20. Lower. Y equals 0. 0 is just a number. Y equals 0 is a line. Okay? Y intercept. Zero comma 20 thirds. How do we graph that? It's a little above 6, so it's right about there, right? Maybe that's a little too high. I think that's maybe a little too high. It should be right about there. Why? It's a third of the way up, right? If 20 is all the way up to the upper, upper limit, 20 thirds is a third of the way up. So then this looks like that. growth of this, we'll call it country. Okay? We'll call it a country. And it's in millions? It's, we'll say it's in millions, but you can just leave it as six point. Yeah. 
Okay. So find me. So it's a little little different now. Okay. So find me the logistic model for this population growth. What are we going with for C? Okay, I'll go along with that. <coughs> what are we going with for our initial value? Year zero was 1900. Okay. So then that would be 6.3 is going to equal 12.5 divided by 1 plus A, B to the zero power. So that b to the zero power is just one. So that's just one plus a. So we got 6.3 equal, oops, correction, put the equal sign early. 6.3 times one plus a is equal to 12.5. Divide by 6.3, one a or one plus a equals 12.5 divided by 6.3. So a then is going to be 6.2 divided by 6.3, mm -hmm. which is approximately one. I got point. 0 0.9841127. More decimal places is better. So early in the problem, more is better. Okay? I even stored it on my calculator so that it's on there, and I'm just going to use it as A the rest of the way through. Okay? Which data point? You guys tell me when to stop when you think we got to a good data point to you. Yeah. Stop. Stop, stop. That one? Actually, no. The last one. This one? Yeah. 70? I like 70 the best. Actually, why, why that one? Why that one? Yeah. Because it's farther out. Wow. They just hit it that way. Eight, 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 and it's coming through like right in there ish. So why don't you do 100? I mean, you could. Ah. You could, but I just, I, you know, it's kind of in that, in that range. Okay? All right? So then we're going to go with. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. So we're here. We're doing some maps. And then we got to take the 70th route. So B here is the 70th root of 0 0.7 times, oh, no, I like 11.8 times 0 0.9 times 0 Okay. So let's take that number. It's actually not going to be as bad as we expect it to be. 70th root of. 7 divided by 11.8 times 0.984127 gives me, I get a B value here of 960669. Okay. So all said and done. We were off by what do we say? 12.5 1 plus 0 0.9841127 